a visit to the Spooner Agricultural Research Station. We're visiting today with Phil Holman, Superintendent, University of Wisconsin Extension in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon. Phil, can you tell us a little bit about the missions here of the Spooner Ag Research Station? The Spooner Ag Research Station now is the northernmost agricultural station that works on crop production, and our animal that we have is sheep, and we are the only dairy sheep research facility in North America. So we do all the different crops as well as dairy sheep research for the university. What's unique about the sheep research here? Well, the unique part is that we milk the sheep. They don't give a lot of production, but they produce a high-value milk that then is used for specialty cheeses or yogurts by uh, different manufacturers in the state, as well as we can ship it anywhere in the United States. And how is that helping the sheep business here in the state? It has started a thriving dairy sheep industry. There's a dairy sheep co-op. Uh, there's independent producers, producers that sell to uh, cheesemakers in the state, as well as uh, we sell breeding uh, livestock and sheep of the dairy breeds throughout the United States. Can you tell us a little bit about the agronomic research that happens here? The agronomic research is uh, we're being the northernmost station in, in the agronomy. We have the corn, soybeans, uh, the shorter season varieties are tested here, as well as we do any fertility trials for what rates of fertilizer. We've done trials on soil pH. Uh, we also have alfalfa trials, fertilizer trials with alfalfa, forage grasses. Uh, we also have switchgrass Indian grass, big blue stem for some heading dates as well as some biomass. They're looking at the ethanol capacity, just seeing what, what types of crops can we grow in this little bit shorter season climate than, than the southern part of the state. Our flock is around 300 dairy ewes are saved each year, and we start lambing in January, and we lamb in groups of about 100, so three different groups, one the end of January, one in February, and one goes March, April, the, the ewe lambs. And we raise the lambs. We need to save about 100 for replacements, but and the rest are then sold for meat lambs or some for breeding stock. And we start milking soon right after lambing and we milk it's a seasonal operation we milk until mid-september early october is when we're finished uh, the milking season uh, we milk twice a day up until mid-august or early september and then drop to once a day as their lactation and their milk production decreases so that that's kind of the season in a nutshell uh, it takes high quality forages to get good milk production and we do research on different feeding trials uh, milk quality mastitis control Control, lamb growth, different feeds on for the lambs, and, and such. We've been visiting with Phil Holman, Superintendent, Spooner Agricultural Research Station, University of Wisconsin, and the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon.